Hi guys, Roxana from the blog acquaintlife.com and today I have for you a home tour. I thought today I would bring you inside to our little farmhouse in the city as I like to call it. We live on just under a third of an acre in town. This isn't a typical farmhouse, but it is something that I grow a lot of food at or try to. Um, we have a lot of flowers, um, we have animals here, and we try to use, utilize the property as best as I possibly can for such a small space. Now, I bought this home just over three years ago, and when I bought it, I got a lot of negative comments from friends and family members who didn't have the vision I did. I knew what I was looking for, and so when I stepped into this house, it had a lot to be desired, of course. This was a rental for many years, and so the people that lived here from other neighbors have told me there was quite a bit of um, people coming in and out, and it was just an unkept home for a very long time. This house was built in 1951, and so as you can imagine, there's a lot of wear and tear on a property like that when you don't maintain it. But I knew what I was capable of, and so I bought it. Believe it or not, I did do a lot of work myself, thanks to YouTube. Um, I even grouted the kitchen tile, and I also refinished my floors, my wood floors. And we have wood floors throughout the house here. Um, I, of course, hired out for things like plumbing issues, a water heater. I put new windows in, and there's been a lot of work. And I still have a vision for this house. This is a farmhouse, yes, but it's not one of the American type that you're probably used to seeing. This is more of a aesthetic of a French or European farmhouse, and so you're gonna see a lot of oil paintings, copper, textures, and things of that nature. This is an eclectic, acquired look over years, and it's something that I just recently started, I would say about two years ago. So this house is getting redone after I already did it. <laughs> I actually styled it very modern when we moved in here and it just did not feel right. So when people would walk in here, a lot of times they'd say, oh, your house is so cute, it's so country, it feels like I'm out in the country in here. And myself being very modern at the time would get kind of annoyed because I had done so much work to the house and yet everybody kept calling it a country house. And so strange as it is, uh, I ended up loving that country look and changing everything and so with this look a French or European style um, house that is collected that is something that's going to take years to acquire um, but I think I've done pretty good um, as far as getting that look now and not having to wait by adding a few key pieces that have given it that look and that feel so I hope that this inspires you to not listen to other people and to listen to yourself because only you know what you're capable of with having said that I hope you enjoy the video